Hi, this is Sai Morton with the daily update on Eurofix. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the forex pisami.com forums weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation on the currency markets and should help you to stand top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit forexpisami.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Greetings everybody, today second video we will take a look at the New Zealand dollar. Actually guys, this is approximately the same situation across the board, so on your currency, on Australian dollar, on the New Zealand dollar, on the gold market. So um, today we will, we will skip the analysis of the gold market since uh, mostly we have said everything yesterday and the situation stands mostly the same. So market still continue action with the upper retracement and the targets that we have specified, yes, they probably will be achieved. So, in general, till the end of the week, we expect some further upward continuation in our markets that we usually discuss uh, against the United States dollar. So, today, guys, actually, we should not pay too much attention to this upward action that we see since, as I said in today's daily video on the euro currency, this is just a big window between the holidays. So, there, mostly, this is time where speculators take the activity and take the short-term trades but major investors uh, take the rest so it's really really thin market between the holidays is just a pause in the big holidays that's why we shouldn't probably pay too much attention to what is going on in the current week so retracement that we have right now is more probably would continue uh, today tomorrow but in general we have the major bearish view on the many uh, currency against the dollar, I mean the euro currency and the New Zealand dollar that we have discussed now because the Australian dollar is probably uh, up to the New Year, New Year's Day the downward action probably will, will continue. Meantime on the on the New Zealand dollar, uh, since we also have prepared the vehicle research on it, uh, we see the bounce up has started and we have discussed mostly because market stands in important support so you, you probably remember that the reason why market has stopped here uh, when it has passed through the all major support areas is the long-term trend line so it stands on the weekly chart and in fact this is lower border of the big flag pattern that's forming on the weekly chart although we expect the further drop here based on the break up, break, uh, background against the net uh, against the New Zealand dollar but r right now market could show some reaction um, on this support and show retracement uh, on the four hour time frame chart uh, if you remember, we have discussed this large passion that stands here. What this passion suggests? So first of all, as you can see, market shows very harmonic upward retracements. Usually, this reached the 618 bounce here, and uh, here this should be near around 71, so the 618 resistance. And every time this bounce starts in the same manner. Uh, so first drop, A, B, C, D, passion hasn't reached the targets, 100% target stands here, bounce up has started. Here we have another one, A, B, C, top, market hasn't reached 100%, upper retracement has started. Every time this bounce starts from the butterfly passion, here a butterfly, and here are some kind of the butterflies forming, it's upward action. Uh, here probably also some butterfly form, and every time this was the significant upward bounce, Six, uh, six one entry retracement, deep retracement. Something of that manner could happen here. As you can see, market right now stands in upward bounds. Uh, and maybe, I'm not sure that's definitely will happen, but who knows if it will accelerate slightly higher, maybe it could form the deep retracement here as well. Anyway, this upward action uh, we probably should treat as the potential for possible taking of the short position. So, on the hourly chart, we see this breakout on the trend line, multiple patterns that we have. Uh, first of all, this short term butterflies that already has reached the targets. You can see market has completed this A, B, C, bottom 100% target, minor 1618 of the minor butterfly, 127 of this larger butterfly. Also, probably could recognize here some kind of the hand shoulder shape is in the euro currency. But anyway, 
So market right now shows the my, minimum reaction on the reaching of the resistance around uh, 6950 area. So next destination point is 1618 butterfly stands 6965. But most important is the exp extension guys here based on this A, B, C bottom. 1618 target and you can see it stands at 6995 approximately this target guys coincides with the stand slightly lower not just coincides i thought that's 70. uh well it will be slightly lower than this 618 but anyway this target stands at 70 even approximately so probably we should be focused on this target if we suggest that the this harmonic action will continue here it's approximately the same 618 swings to the upside it's deep retracements so anyway today tomorrow it's really not bad chances that uh, retracement will, will continue but we see the signs so is on the gold market on the euro currency it's really could happen maybe on the background of yesterday is a bit uh, worse than expected uh, statistics on the real estate market in, in, in the united states so we'll see but the major action probably guys should start after the new york's holiday so currently we just will be watching for a tactical bound tactical replacement following the patterns that we have on the new zealand dollar and waiting on the completion of this maybe extended target around 70 even. so if it will be done so will be a very nice opportunity for taking a short position we will see what will happen there um, if we will get some reversal patterns maybe we will think about taking the short in the to join the medium term bearish view, medium term perspective on the New Zealand dollar. So let's see what we're looking at.